Gamers, today I'm going to talk about and give you my opinion about Stormgate. So I played it recently and I kind of want to give an opinion not just about Stormgate, but about Zero Space, Starcraft 2, Warcraft 3, Battle Aces, and Age of Empires 4. I get these questions a lot, including AOM, right? I get these questions a lot. I'm just going to let this play in the background because, um, you know, am I going to play AOE? Obviously, there's a lot of games coming out. Like I said, AOM, Battle Aces, Stormgate, Zero Space. I'm not sure when that's coming out and everyone's asking me, are you going to play it? What do you think of it? Should I try it? And so on and so forth. So I'm going to give you my, my, my honest opinion, okay? I have played StarCraft 2, uh, let, let's start with that. I, I haven't played StarCraft 2 for two and a half years. And then this April Fools, I played StarCraft as like, um, you know, I'm going back to StarCraft, um, I'm quitting AOE 4, and I played it for like an hour or a bit. It was the, I, I said this in Twitch chat earlier, but it was the first time that I felt that it's outdated. And what I mean by that is, just the, the graphics, the, the camera angle, like being so zoomed in. Um, and obviously, you know, someone said earlier, yeah, no, no, no shite. It's been 14 years. But I never noticed it until very recently. And then I've played some other games. Obviously, I've played Battle Aces. That's kind of very different RTS. It's, it's very fast paced. It's kind of like a deck builder RTS. And I had fun in, um, in Battle Aces because it's... To me, it, it, it's almost like not the same type of game as StarCraft 2 or AoE 4 or Stormgate. It's like a an RTS that you make a deck, you go in, quick games, boom, 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 go next. You know, it's like, yeah, it's like a mini game, you know? It doesn't mean that it doesn't have complexity, but it's something that I feel like I can not play for a week and then play two games and then not play for a month and then play a couple of games, whatever, right? And I feel like that's kind of the appeal of Battle Aces. That's their main thing. You don't got to invest hours playing it. You don't got to, you know, have an hour plus free just so you can play a couple of games. You can play like 15 games uh, in that time, right? And after playing it, I thought, yeah, I, I, I could see myself playing this in the future. You know, like just fire it up sometimes at like 2 a.m., do a couple of games before bed. You know, um, obviously, I the game is pretty much finished from what I what I've seen in Battle Aces. Um, I think the, the graphics look clean. Obviously some people don't like the art, but the graphics look clean. And I thought it was, you know, yeah, I'll play it sometimes. Not gonna switch to it, right? But I'm gonna play it sometimes, it's a cool game. Now, I played Stormgate um, early release, which was a few days ago. So I played it for about, uh, let me see. Um, I played it for about six hours. There's five hours here, but I played another extra hour because I had to reset the stream. And I gave it a go. I played it six hours. I did not play the campaign and I did not play co-op. I just played uh, one-on-ones. And I wanted to give my opinion about the game. Now, um, needless to say, the game is early access and it is clearly not like finished as in this is what the game is going to be. There's going to be a lot of balance changes. There's going to be a lot of, um, I mean, a lot of units are missing like voice lines, you know, so they're going to probably change balance. They're going to change graphics on some things. They're going to change the design. They still have stuff to add. So I'm, I'm excluding all of that. I'm saying that's great, right? I, I can, because, you know, I can be objective as in, oh, okay, I don't like this, but it's going to get fixed one day, right? So I can, I can be objective like that and, and understand that, right? If a unit is overpowered, I'm not like, oh, game is ruined because a unit is overpowered. I understand it's early to release and it's going to get fixed or changed or whatever, right? Like, for example, Exos, when they came out, they looked pretty bad. Oh, they look pretty good. I think they're, you know, they look nice. Um, so with that being said, when I played it, um, initially I had fun. I, I enjoyed it and, you know, I was kind of figuring out stuff and and you know making different units and what does this unit do what does that unit do and so on and so forth over time uh as i was playing it more and more i had that feeling of like i'm playing starcraft and i don't mean like oh this is like a worse version of starcraft or oh this is same like starcraft it's just the same type of game you know how StarCraft 2 and StarCraft are very similar? They're not the same game, not at all. Yeah, they have the same races, but everything works differently. 
but they're the same type of game, right? I feel like Stormgate is the same type of game as StarCraft 2 is. There are creeps, yes, there are different mechanics and so on, but what I mean is the tempo of the game is very similar to StarCraft. Like, when I was playing it, I felt the same things that I felt when, I, when I'm playing StarCraft. It's like, oh, I'm getting proxy cheese, or, oh, I didn't respond, I'm dead. Oh, I looked away for a second, I'm dead. Constantly have to, having to, to move units left and right, constantly repositioning, constantly clicking. And this game didn't remind me of Age of Empires, right? It reminded me of StarCraft, and very clearly. And there was a game towards the end of the stream that I think, I think uh, uh, describes it pretty well. Let me actually go back here and I'll show you exactly what I mean. I don't mean to say that Stormgate gameplay is bad or that it's not going to make it. What I'm saying, it's not for me. Like, I don't know if it's because I'm too old. I don't know if it's because I'm playing um, AoE 4 now. But I'm just kind of over that kind of, like, fast-paced, very multitasking and micro-oriented RTS games. Um, since I've started playing Age of Empires 4... I realized I enjoy that. I enjoy strategy. I enjoy micro benefiting you, but micro not deciding the games. I, I think a strategy, a real-time strategy game should be about, right, strategy. And some people think that RTS games should be like StarCraft, where it's like APM and, and battles. And it, it is impressive the way StarCraft 2 players micro and target fire. That's all impressive, but it's not fun for me right when i look at starcraft 2 players micring and target firing bailings and stuff it's impressive and i can appreciate it and when i watch it it's fun but when i play it it's not fun the fun disappears it goes away this game is a very good example of of what i mean so i'm a you know i'm i'm a new player in storm yet right i'm not a I, I don't have hundreds of games and i understand if i had a better scouting this wouldn't have happened but I'm looking at this from a point of view of I'm a, you know, slightly better than uh, average Joe, right? And where I'm playing a mirror match. And I don't know if you can see it on my face, actually. But this was the game where I was like, this is not, I'm, I'm, I do, I, I'm not into this. I, this is not fun for me. So this is what happens. I went for like a build with these dogs and my opponent just cheesed with double barracks dogs, right? So he just stayed one base all in and cheesed and this is what happens. I just pull these mobs and he just runs into me with a shit ton of dogs, right? Two of the dogs are getting stuck. I'm trying to run away. One gets surrounded. I'm trying to run away. Um, okay. Okay, he is there. I'm wait. I'm trying to survive now. I'm getting my upgrade for dogs. I'm trying to make units, and I'm like, oh fuck, you know, I, I don't have money. What do I do? And in a little bit, right here, he's just all in with dogs, right? And I'm I'm trying to hold somehow. Obviously, I don't know what I'm doing, but this is the point where, to me, this is not. Again, I'm not saying whether it's a good gameplay or not. This is not fun for me. This is not fun. And this is StarCraft. This is like Ling Wars. Oh, he had more Lings. And you die. Um, and for me, it's like... This is supposed to be a strategy game. Right? Where we're making choices. We're... Uh, oh, I see what you're doing. I counter it with this. <clears throat> to me, that's, that's fun. That's entertaining. Right? This thing where he went double barracks and just cheesed me with dogs is StarCraft. I mean, again, if you ever played StarCraft, that's what StarCraft is. Oh, you didn't scout Stargate? Void Raid, you're dead. Oh, you didn't scout Proxy Marines? You're dead. Oh, you didn't see the Roach Warren? You're dead. And to me, that kind of gameplay is not really something that I find joy in. There used to be a time where I did find that very fun and, and that was very exciting and you gotta be on your toes and you, you gotta be tuned in the whole time. But not anymore. So again, I'm not here to, uh, I, I'm not here to like shit talk Stormgate. 
I do think that this is early access and they will make it, uh, they will improve a lot of stuff and, you know, it's going to get fixed up and uh, everything is going to get improved. But even if all that happens, it's still not a game for me. Even if the balance is perfect, the graphics get improved in whatever way, I don't care. The the design gets improved, the ba whatever. It's still not going to be a game for me because I love playing AOE 4. And I remember as I was streaming this, I was thinking, I kind of, I just want to play AOE 4. Like, and I think with the most recent uh, RTS games that I've played, because I'm not really the type of... Um, you know, guy to go and play a new game every week, right? So, I have played, like I said, Zero Space, I've played Battle Aces, I've played Stormgate, I've played StarCraft 2 again, and I just realized I don't enjoy those games. And, um, usually games, even if you're, uh, by the way, let's not talk about what I just did there. Oh, when the games are new games, sorry. Uh, they're usually fun to play, to figure out, and stuff like that. And to me, I I'm just like, I don't know what I'm doing, but I've played this game before, kind of thing, and it ain't for me. So that's kind of it. I don't think it, it's about whether Stormgate is good or bad. It's just that I'm over it. I'm done. I'm old. Whatever way you want to look at it. And uh, I talked about this on my stream a little bit. Like, you know what I love about AOE 4? Uh, a lot of people will say, um, you know, you see these comments say, AOE 4 or AOE games are slow. Yeah. As in, you can't lose in two seconds. Yeah. that That's true. In AoE 4, are there some situations where you get cheesed and you lose? Yes. But you have a lot of time to react to it, right? You have a lot of time to make a decision. When you scout, for example, stables in AoE 4, you don't die, like, in the next 20 seconds. You don't see stables and you're like, Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. That's it. I don't have Spearman. I'm dead. You can build a barracks, you can make spearmen, you can start walling, you can make a tower, you can, if you're a castle, you can make crossbows. You know what I mean? There's so many answers to it. There's so many answers, there's so many approaches to it. Uh, every game of AoE 4 is a, a completely new game. You don't play on static. This is something I appreciate about AoE 4 as well, although at times it's tilting. The maps are not static. The maps are... Uh, you have Dry Arabia, but Dry Arabia spawns different every time. Every game feels like, in a way, like a like a puzzle you gotta solve. Like, how are you gonna set up your walls? How are you gonna set up your defenses? Where are you going to push? Right? Um, opponent's gold is forward. Okay, if their gold is forward, I'm gonna all in because they're vulnerable. Or if the opponent's gold is back, you'll say, ah, I can't all in, I'm gonna rush castle too. There's a lot of decision making that goes on to A4, and obviously I talk about it from time to time, explaining all the decision making, all the different processes that, that go in one game. And I feel like StarCraft 2 and, and Stormgate type of game, they just don't have that. Those types of games, and by the way, I have played plenty of StarCraft, okay? Um, StarCraft has not changed since I quit. StarCraft is the same. It works the same way. There's a map. The map is the same. You figure out what the best build on that map is. And then, as the opponent, you have to know how to counter that build. Sometimes, people will, instead of opening two of these, they're going to open four to throw you off. But the gameplay leads into the same thing, right? The meta, the play styles, they get figured out and people do that thing. And there's three races, so there's not a lot of variety. Uh, StarCraft 2 and Stormgate type of games are very hard to play on mechanics. You have, to, you have a lot of repetitive tasks that you need to do. Uh, there's a lot of micro. A lot of micro that is very explosive, as in, if you don't look, you can lose the game in two seconds for Banelings or Disruptors or Colossus or Widow Mines or whatever. And again, some people enjoy that. I don't. I enjoy the the in-depth strategic uh, choices that AoE 4 has. I enjoy the, the, the game having 16 civilizations. 16. And we're always going to have some civilizations that are overpowered, right? Or not overpowered. They're stronger than others. But it's not like... Um, there's very few matchups, even with 16 civilizations, that feel like an auto-loss. There's so many things you can do with every sieve. Like, every sieve, if you play it on water, it's played completely differently, for example. 
It's a different opening. It's a different transition. If you rush castle, each save is different. If you fight in feudal, each save is different. And this is what I enjoy about AoE 4. There is micro. Whoever tells you there's no micro in AoE games is, is clueless, right? But it's the intricacy of different strategies and what you have to do. And the fact that you can actually scout. Scouting in AoE 4, in my opinion, is done the best out of any game. Out of any RTS game that I've played. I think scouting should be something that's easy to do. Easy to stop if you see it. But hard to master. On both sides. Right? In AoE 4, the scout has more vision than units. So if you want to find the enemy scout, you actually have to avoid... If you want to avoid the enemy units killing your scout, you have to avoid their line of sight. You have to... The enemy has to use their own scout to find your scout. And if you micro your scouts properly, 95% of the games, you can see what the enemy is doing, right? You can clearly see the build. You can see how many villagers they got on gold. That means they might be aging up. If they're getting second, uh, if they're getting stone, you know, you, you're getting scouting for like minutes in advance. You know what I mean? You're not seeing, in StarCraft, you see a unit pop out of factory and you don't know what's being made. And you're like, oh, it's a widow mine. I'm gonna get a widow mine dropped in 15 seconds, right? In AoE 4, if you see stone being mined, you know that the opponent will make a second town center in like 45 seconds. And then second town center needs like 30, 40, 50 seconds to finish. And then the opponent will start making extra villagers. And then you have so much time to, to decipher, to figure out what you want to do. And that's what I love about it. That's interesting to me, right? they are different types of games. Stormgate, StarCraft 2, AoE 4. they are different types of games. They're, they're real-time strategy, but they're completely different type. What's being focused on, what's what's the main focus of the game, what's the highest skill um, that's important, whether it's micro, decision-making, and so on. And I realized that after playing all these other RTS games, I just, like... I just don't want to play other RTS games. I want to play AoE 4. That's what I enjoy. Because sometimes, you know, you wonder like, oh, what would it be if I play this other game and stuff like that? But I genuinely don't want to. And even when I did play the other games, I just wanted to go back to AoE 4 and, and play a game. Uh, it's been two and a half years of me streaming like six, seven, eight hours a day. And when I take a day off and I look at women playing AoE 4, it makes me want to play the game. Like, it makes me go want to log in at, like, fucking midnight and play a game. That's just how I feel about it. And I think playing these other games makes me appreciate AoE 4. Because I think sometimes it, in your mind you get a little bit caught up. Like, oh, AoE 4, this thing uh, looks like shit. Or this fighting, like, water fighting is annoying. And by the way, water fighting in AoE 4 is not great. I will say that, obviously. And you know why a lot of people dislike water fighting? It's because the same people are dislike StarCraft 2. The game can end in one second. Demo ships hit you, you just lose the- Oh, you didn't pay attention, demo ship, the game's over. That's not fun, right? And even the players that play StarCraft will tell you, that's not fun. I, I don't know anyone- When I played StarCraft full time, so many people were annoyed and, and like literally being mad and upset at getting proxy or getting DT rushed, because it's not fun. There's nothing fun with you not scouting, uh, barely, DT shrine, and then these Dark Templars that are invisible come to your base and you lose. It's like, okay, cool, but I guess I go next. And then you go next game and you get proxy racks all in, and it's just like, okay. It's frustrating. Those are frustrating losses. When I play AoE 4, I don't have frustrating gameplay. I have sometimes it's frustrating to get a bad map spawn, right? But this doesn't happen like every game. But you don't lose a game to like night micro or or crossbows, and you're like, ah, oh, this is bullshit. You can make it too, brother. You know what I mean? You can make it too. With all that being said, I want to say that I love AoE4. I ain't quitting AoE4 anytime soon. If there was any doubt in your mind, or my mind, 
Ooh, maybe when this game comes out, I'll play and see how it goes. I ain't quitting AA4. Unless the game gets, like, disbanded or something, it ain't happening. And it's not because uh, I make money with it or this or that. It's because I don't enjoy other RTS games. They're not for me. And to me, even if I get bored of one-on-one -on -one in AA4, there's so many things you can do. You can play team games. You can play Nomad. You can play Nomad for days. You can play mods in AA4. Um, hopefully we get DLC, right? So that, that happens. Every once in a while, someone from StarCraft 2 comes and asks, what are the chances of going back to StarCraft? Zero. If by some miracle, AOE 4 just disintegrates, I'm not going back to StarCraft. I'm not going to be playing Stormgate. It's just not for me. I'm, I'm the wrong audience for this, right? And maybe it's because, like I said, I played AOE 4 and I prefer that now and that's my style. Or maybe just I'm old and I, I don't want to be frustrated like an old man yelling at the game. If I want to play micro-oriented stuff, I know this might sound funny to some people, but if I want to play this like, oh, I'm dead, I'll play MOBAs. I'll go play League of Legends. That's kind of how I feel about it. If I want to play something even more chill than AoE 4, as in, just not, not even touching the keyboard, I'll go play card games. Like, that's just how it is. I don't, I don't see myself going back to Stormgate full-time or going back to StarCraft 2 full-time for all those reasons. So, that is how I feel about that. Now, regarding AOM, some people are here asking. Um, I, I can't... I can't answer what I want to answer because some stuff is behind the scenes. Uh, I will say, the, uh, say that if... I can play AOM qualifiers. I will try to qualify for Red Bull through AOM. But there's been players apparently that have been playing AOM uh, for the past like six months. Um, because they're like helping test the game. But they're still allowed to participate in the tournament. On top of that, I don't know if I will be able to participate in the qualifiers. Let me put it that way. So to me, AOM release... If I can't participate in like the, the tournaments initially and stuff like that, I'm just not going to play AOM at all. I'm just going to skip it completely. I can't say if I'm going to play it on release or not. Even if I do play it, I, th I thought AOM was fun, by the way, when I played it. Uh, there's a lot to learn. AOM is definitely like closer to AOE 4 than, than Starcraft or Stormgate or to AOE 4. To me, it seems like AOM is, is like a more wild version of AOE 4. It, it's like you have so many of these like things that are just like instantly changing the outcome of the battle, god powers, and just like so OP. But a lot of things are OP, so it's okay because of it, right? So yeah, that's how, that's how I feel about it. And again, I can't give a definitive answer whether I'm going to be streaming AOM on release or not. Like I said, it, it doesn't depend on me. Let's just put it that way. I just want to say, once again, for everyone in Twitch chat that's watching right now, 1,200 of you and everyone on YouTube, I genuinely enjoy playing AOE 4. I genuinely have fun playing AOE 4. And even when I take a day off, I feel like playing it. I'm like, I, I could play a Dry Arabia, do a little, try a little, you know, Japanese castle rush or do like 2TC Delhi, just try something, right? I genuinely have fun and I'm very happy that I'm having fun. I would hate if I had to play A4 for a living and I didn't enjoy the game because I had that with StarCraft for the past two, three years of StarCraft and it was, it was miserable to say the least. Like last two, three years of StarCraft, I, I did not like the game at all and I had to keep playing it because that was my you know, income and my job. I fucking love playing AA4. And I'm so happy for that. Even if I'm maybe not a full-time competitive player, I still fucking love it. With that being said, YouTube gamers and Twitch gamers combined, remember, apes together strong. I want to thank you for watching, whether it's a YouTube video or a Twitch stream. You're making this possible for me to stream a game I genuinely enjoy playing for a living. 
without you, I don't know what I'd do, to be honest. Maybe I would become like an FPS player or something. Jesus Christ. You know what I mean? From the bottom of my heart, thank you. I appreciate you. And for years to come, we're going to be playing more AA4. We're going to be making more videos. More tier lists, of course. And last but not least, we're going to ruin the game by making more guides. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you for watching. Get your friends into the game. You know how it is. It's the best RTS game out there. Twitch gamers, keep going.